guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I know a lot of you guys are not going to like, and that's the idea of Amy dying in Heartland Season 14. But before I get into that, if you guys can leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel, tell me your single 20,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate that. But now, let's get into today's video. So, disclaimer, I am not at all in any way, shape, or form affiliated with Heartland, nor do I claim to be. I don't work for CBC, I don't know cast or crew, I've talked to cast of Heartland many times, but at the end of the day, I do not know anything that is going to happen in Heartland Season 14, so therefore nothing that I say in this video is confirmed to be happening in Season 14 of Heartland. It is just my own personal opinions, thoughts, and ideas on what could make Season 14 of Heartland even better. But with that being said, let's jump straight into today's video. So, I have made several videos before talking about the death of several of the main cast of Heartland. Jack, Amy, Ty, and all those. Why? Why am I always bringing up deaths of main characters? Well, it goes back to writing. When you're writing a TV show, writers of any TV show, not just Heartland, know that their main characters are the number one way to get people to watch the episodes and to be invested in what happened in the story. That is important because when you're sitting down on Sunday night and you're watching Heartland, you know, on your TV, you're watching the episodes live as they premiere and stuff like that, um, that is really important. That shows CBC that, yeah, people are still watching the episodes, people are still in love with the show, let's make more seasons because we know people will watch. So that is important, keep that in mind. So then how do you get people to sit down and watch the episodes on Sunday instead of, you know, going out with friends or something like that? Main characters. TV show writers know that their main characters are their number one tool in uh, connecting the show with their audience. Amy, in a lot of people's heads, is the main character of Heartland. I don't see her as the main character anymore, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to say that she is the main character. So Amy's the main character. So therefore, anything that happens to her will affect the show. Let me, let me put it in terms that are easy to understand. Bad things that happen to characters equals better ratings. Why? It goes back to them being the main character. Anything that happens to them, for example, if they're sad, if they're angry, if they're mad, if they're hurt, then the viewers will feel mad, angry, hurt, broken. Why? Because they are emotionally connected to this show. Heartland has been on for so long that uh, fans of the show are emotionally connected to the show. So therefore, when any of the characters hurt, not just Amy or Ty or any of them, any of them, when anything happens to them, but specifically Amy or Ty, because they are the main characters, then that um, emotionally affects the fans and they are going to want to watch every episode live to figure out what is going on with the character, are they okay, what's going to happen to the show, how is this going to affect the show, how is this going to affect the other characters, and so on. And that is important because that plays into will there be more episodes and seasons of Heartland in the future. That is what CBC looks at to determine are people watching the show enough to make a season 15, make a season 16, etc. Do I think Amy's going to die in season 14? No. Do I think Amy's going to be the main character in season 14? No. 100% not at all. I don't think season 14 of Heartland is going to be focused on Amy at all. Obviously, she will still still be there. She's a main character, but she's going to play a supporting role this season. I made a video yesterday talking about why Georgie is the most important Heartland character right now, and that is simply because I'll, I recommend you go watch that video, but I'll summarize it very quickly now. Georgie is the new Amy. Whether you guys want to whether you like that or not, she is. So the character development that they give Georgie now will determine if there's going to be a season 15, 16, etc. Her character development over the, the next couple of seasons, for example, season 13, 14, 15, 16 possibly, are crucial to the future of Heartland. They need to focus on Georgie's character and develop her character in a way that fans like. They need to make Georgie... They need to make fans fall in love with Georgie the way they did Amy back in season one. That's what needs to happen. They need to make people fall in love with Georgie and Quinn or whoever she ends up with the way they did with Amy and Ty in the earlier seasons. That 
is extremely, extremely important. Because if it, people don't like Georgie, then Heart, Heartland is doomed. Amy and Ty and Jack and Lou and all of them are still going to be there, but they are less relevant in the upcoming seasons. Right now, Georgie is what matters. So, no, I don't think anything bad is going to happen to Amy in season 14. However, I do think that she's going to be sidelined. She's not going to be the main focus. They might have a couple of episodes dealing with, you know, uh, Luke and the adoption of Luke or the fostering of Luke or who, however they choose to go about that storyline. Uh, that is obviously going to be in season 14. There's kind of no escaping that right now. I'm kind of upset how they... Did they developed Luke's storyline, but anyway, nobody can, you know, erase the story for season 13 now, so they have to play off what they did in season 13, but I do not think in any way that uh, Amy and Ty are going to be the main characters in this season. No, I don't think Amy's going to die. However, I do think that anything that happens to Amy is going to drastically affect the show. So let me repeat this just to be super, super, super clear. No, I don't think Amy's going to die. Um, I don't think that's the kind of show that Heartland is. I don't think that they are the type of show that will kill off their main characters. However, I do think that it's the type of show that the characters will become less relevant as time goes on and they'll focus on the next generation. I have a whole video coming up in the future about how Heartland could possibly be the longest running TV show of all time because of the writing format of the show. So if you guys don't want to miss that, which I highly suggest you uh, watch it because if you are a huge fan of Heartland, I promise you this is one video that I'm going to post on my channel that I promise you if you are a fan of Heartland, you are not going to want to miss. So make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications so you don't miss that video. I'm working super, super hard on it. I have no idea when it's going to be out, but I'm hoping to have it out in the very near future. But as I said, I do think Heartland is the kind of show that will uh, sideline their characters, make them less relevant, and will focus on the generations. And that is kind of what's happening right now. Uh, Georgie is becoming the new Amy. So I don't think anything bad is going to happen to Amy, Ty, or any of the characters. Uh, Amy's not going to die. Nothing's going to happen to Amy. But she is going to become less relevant as time goes on. And Georgie is kind of going to take the spotlight, as we kind of saw in season 13, where they focused a lot on Georgie and Quinn's relationship. And it really reminded me of how they focused on Ty and Amy's relationship in the earlier seasons of Heartland. So it's kind of just focusing on the next generation and sidelining the other characters. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I'll leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. I really enjoy reading comments. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts and opinions. I know that a lot of people have said if Amy uh, dies or if she becomes less relevant or if they kill her off or something like that or if the show's not about Amy and Ty anymore then they will stop watching the show. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Will you stop watching the show if Amy stops being the main focus point and focal point of the show or if Ty and Amy's relationship is kind of sidelined? Would you stop watching or would you continue watching for years to come? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future Heartland videos. Including a very, very special video that I should be coming that I should be posting very soon talking about how Heartland could make TV show history by being the longest running TV show of all time. With that being said, I'm gonna go. Goodbye.